The League for Innovation and Community Colleges is proud to present the second annual John and Sue Ann Roosh Excellence Awards. John and Sue Ann Roosh, leaders in the community college field, have been partners and friends with the league for more than 35 years. They've been proponents of the idea that teachers share a major responsibility for how well students perform in the classroom and beyond. In recognition of the Roosh's lifelong contributions to improve the quality of teachers through assistance and leadership, the League is proud to celebrate all of the 2013 John and Sue Ann Roosh Excellence Awards recipients from League Alliance member institutions. Each and every day, these Excellence Awards recipients go the distance to show students a whole new world. It takes more than a wave of a wand and bibbidi-bobbidi-boo to help students' wishes come true. Let's find out how the 2013 Excellence Awards recipients show their students they can fly. In one word, how does it feel to be the hero today? Fabulous! Energized! Humbled! Fantastic! Fantastic. Excellent! Thrilled! Privileged! Energizing! Validated! Honored! Elated! Exhilarated! Humbled! Disbelief! Honored! Encouraged! Flattered! Grateful! Honored! Awesome! Amazing! Excited! Inspired! Great! Honored! Great! Affirmation! Fantastic! What do you feel are the most magical things about teaching? So to me, one of the most magical moments about teaching is really seeing a student's self-confidence grow or develop in themselves. Uh, I teach developmental math, so I get a lot of students that come in and you know, just have had really negative experiences in math, and when I can see them suddenly start to believe in their capabilities, that to me is one of the most magical things. I think the most magical thing about teaching is that moment when you realize the student has got what you're trying to explain. And it does my heart good as a teacher to see that. I think the most magical things about teaching is when the students actually get something that they didn't expect to even get while they were in your class, that they can use these things immediately, they can apply them to their lives, and they'll know them forever. Those are the most magical things about teaching. The magical thing about teaching is seeing students see that you care about them and watching them succeed along the way. The most magical thing about being a pre-nursing advisor is when students achieve their nursing degree and that most magical look on their face is absolutely priceless. I think one of the most magical things about teaching is being able to transform students' lives, taking them from a student to a successful career person. What are the bare necessities of helping students succeed? The bare necessities for what students need, what I can provide is helping them get the resources they need so we can transform their lives. In landscape and turf management, the bare necessities of helping students succeed is sweat equity. I feel that my students know the bare necessities of life is good customer service. And I try to make sure that I give them that every day. I think that one of the bare necessities of helping students to succeed is to believe in them, to help them believe in their own dreams and to believe in themselves. I think one of the essentials to helping students succeed is humility. Um, they come to us with all kinds of questions and they want to feel like those questions are valid and don't want to be belittled or think that maybe they have a stupid question. So I think that builds a bridge and allows them to communicate better and ultimately succeed in the classroom. When it comes to the bare necessities of helping students succeed, I think a genuine connection is important. I'm in financial aid, and student success means removing all financial barriers. Well, I have a formula, and it's consistent behavior plus time equals trust. And my students know what they'll get from me. 
My bare necessities of helping students succeed is to make math as relevant as I possibly can. How do you show students they've got a friend in you? I feel that I can actually be friends with my students and I demonstrate this most of the time by helping the students out, feeling that the student, making them feel important. They can also feel that they can come to me at any time, ask any type of particular question, and they know for sure that I'll find out the answers. I'm curious about who they are and I take time to get to know them. By interaction with the students one-on-one, -on -one, because I want to find out how are they studying for my exams so that I can decide how I can better serve them so that they can be successful. I always make sure that I have an open door policy and that my students know that I will help them in any way possible. I think how I let students know they have a friend in me is, is I take a few minutes out of my day to learn something about them as human beings and not just as students and that makes them much more comfortable. I simply go down the hall singing, you got a friend in me, you got a friend in me. The students know they have a friend in me because I keep an open line of communication. I show students that they've got a friend in me by connecting with them, by being genuine and authentic, helping them to care for themselves by demonstrating that I care for them. Human heartedness and compassion. It's all about conversations and connections. What's the spoonful of sugar that helps your students succeed? I want my students to believe in themselves that they can accomplish their goals. I look for innovative ways to use different technologies to increase success for all students with a wide variety of learning styles, abilities, and preferences. Providing services and support that is responsive and will help them succeed in their educational goals. The spoonful of sugar that I use to help students succeed is to have confidence in them and to uh, encourage them that they can do it. At Sky CTC, we have a positive attitude and a wonderful team spirit for all of our students. My spoonful of sugar is it's dedication and to realize getting a degree is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Stick with it, work through all the troubles, you're going to hit bumps in the road, but you got to keep going and going and going to get to that ultimate degree. The spoonful of sugar that helps students succeed at Pellissippi is to truly show that we do care. Engagement. One of the first things I do is get my students into groups and they do an active exercise that translates from left brain to right brain thinking and gets them really involved in the learning process. The spoonful of sugar that helps students succeed is tenacity, perseverance, and never, ever, ever giving up. Congratulations to the 2013 John and Sue Ann Roosh Excellence Awards recipients. Thank you to the 2013 John and Sue Ann Roosh Excellence Awards recipients who recorded interviews for this video. We regret that we were unable to use all of the video footage recorded.